Here we go. Oh, I get to drive in this game. Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to stop here, so technically I'm just not going to stop. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Ah! So nearly crashed. That's so <laughs> so very proud of my driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could just park wherever. It's fine. <laughs> very nice parking indeed. Oh, this is a lovely establishment. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you? Mm, very important question here. Cheeseburger with fries. Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. Oh, what a weird combination. Or oh, meatball subbed with chicken nuggies. I'm going to go with the meatball sub with the chicken nuggies. Very well. Would you like anything to drink? Large Coke. Perfect. Anything else? That will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds perfect. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm going to get some chicken nuggets. Mmm. Anyway, uh, ball flip. What? Yo! <laughs> oh my god, I actually did ball flip and that's really stupid. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. I still had to pee. Oh. Probably should go and piss then, shouldn't we? A lovely stream. Look at that. Very, very strong pee right there. I mean, it looks a bit dehydrated. I think you need to drink some water, I'm going to be honest. Toilet bowl looks a little bit dehydrated there as if you not had any water at all. Should probably wash my hands. Make sure to stay cleansed. Sanitary is important. Food is here, people. Meatball sub with the chicken nuggets. Oh, juicy. I don't even like meatball subs, but still juicy meatball sub. Figured it'd be a while since I've had a meal like this. Chicken nuggies. Are you not going to dip them in the sauce at all? Or we're just going to eat them raw? Okay. We're just going to raw dog them. Not going to put any sauce on that. Going to be a bit dry, not going to lie. So we could pay the $6 and add a bit of a tip. I'll pay, a, I'll pay a little bit of a tip. I feel like it's fair. If it's the US and you have to tip anyway, so. Okay, easy does it. I'm not the best driver in the world, I'll be honest. Wait, was I supposed to drive the car this way? Oh my Jesus, sir, don't scare me like that. Why would you scare me like that? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. Oh, you scared me. Hey, Lord, have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer for the fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Somebody's in a, somebody's outside the window. Somebody's walking past outside the window. I guess we're just not going to pay attention to that. Hmm. Hang on, let me check on that. Okay, but somebody just check. I I'm going to tell you right now. Somebody just was walking outside that window a second ago. I saw the figure. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower at, uh, 11. Okay. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let me open the trail gate for you. Oh, I should probably go get the, go get the RV. Hmm. Wait, can I drive the RV through there? Or is it going to be a case of I cannot... No, I'm not going to be able to drive it through there, am I? I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to walk. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike. Thank you, Billy. Okay, I appreciate it, Billy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sayonara. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Oh, you got it. Bobcats and bears. Hmm, nasty business. Very much understood, Billy. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the tip. Thank you for the advice. Tower 11. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it off in the distance. This would be terrifying, I, by the way. Just you alone in the middle of the forest and you've got to go and watch a f on a fire tower for the rest of the night. Oh, lacy trail. 3.2 miles. Hmm. Okay. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I can imagine. First of all, lots of stairs. Lots of them. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Okie dokie. Once you're at the top of the tower, first job is to look for fires or anything. What? What? Well, I'm not seeing fires. I'm not seeing any campfires at all. So I feel like we're okay. Get that open. Get that open. 
cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me the sense of comfort. Ah, the outdoors. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Radio equipment was sitting on the wooden table. I got to turn on the... Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Where's the generator then? Where's the generator? Hmm. Of course, there always has to be a generator. There we go. Nice and lit up. I like the lights, okay? Nice and lit up. That's what we need. Okay, now... Oh, gosh, I've shut the door on myself. Now we can go and... Static. Okay. Um. Oh, lovely. Lovely. There's lights and everything. Good, good. Knots. Okay, okay. Iron Bank Fire Department. Lights out after 12. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guess in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark. Is it Bark? Iron Bark Tower Number. Is that for the computer? Refuel the generator uh, routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister location before you sleep. Okay, okay, okay. Iron Bark 11. <gasps> I'm in. I've hacked the mainframe. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Hi, Smiley. Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say... Is that Jazz Up Sky? Congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Is that Jack Sepp's guy? Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. We fire can do that. Be noticeable all of the time. We can so do that. Also keep watch for smoke. Yeah. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep Understandable. Of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Scientifically. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Got them on speed dial. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. That was a fantastic training video. I know all I need to know about Firewatch now. Plague.exe. Oh, it said no games. It said no games, but how could I not? Zombies, baby. Round 100, here I come. It's not exactly Natch, but it'll do, it'll do. Right, where's Juggernaut? I need to pack a punch this baby. Oh. Yo, I'm a looping god. I'm a looping god. I'm a looping god. 
You can't handle me. Welcome to the state of the art service report. And oh, you guy, haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm oh, Jack. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is this? Connor, Fire Tower 12. Oh, it's my sister tower, Fire, Fire Tower 12. Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really Fire tired. Going? Oh, how do I, how do I get the fire lit? Because that's what I did want to do, to be fair, in the beginning. But I never figured out how to get the fire going. Because I didn't have firewood. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Maybe you'll tell me where the firewood is? Don't There's no fire firewood. Wood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer who was in the lookout before you. I have some firewood now, so I can actually set a fire and not freeze to death. Take this back up to the stove. Where is it? There it is. Get a little bit of a fire going. Okay, there we go. That's a fire. That's a fire. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, no. What was it? Temperature 44? 44.6. No, let me get to it. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, let's get that report done, shall we? Okay, what is the time? 11.32? Temperature. What, what was the temperature? 44.2? 44.2. Wind knot. Oh, I forgot to check the wind knots. There's so much you need to do. What's the wind knots? Good old 19. The wind knots are. Let's just double check the temperature. 44.6, I was wrong. So it was good old 19 for the wind knots. 44.6. Number of hikers assisted is zero. And what is the weather? It is... The weather's not really anything. The weather kind of just looks normal, to be honest with you. Clear, mist, wind, rain, heat waves, blizzard, thunderstorm, dust storm. Uh, it looks kind of clear, to be honest. Reported by, what was my name? Jack? Jack. Right, Tower ta 11. Sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Over and out. Okay. I can sleep. I can sleep. First night, and it took me forever to get everything sorted. Ooh. Unintelligible. Who's... Who's... Connor? I had to pee. Oh, I have to go pee? Ugh, but the urinal's all the way down at the bottom. Space to pee, okay. Oh, I'm just peeing off the side. Woo! -hoo. Free man over here. Free man. There's just hikers going past right now, just peeing all over them. Oh, this is great. Just getting to pee off in the woods. I suppose, yeah. You may as well, right? It was a bit strange, but hey, who am I? Who am I to say? Ah, it's a beautiful day. Just me and my coffee. Ah, beautiful day. Oh yeah, let's take a photo. Let's take a photo. Perfect. Ah, isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Just getting to sit here, watch the sunrise. Gonna take another photo apparently, as if we did. We as if we already didn't take enough. We'll take a picture of our neighboring tower. All right, cool. Let's get a move on with the day, shall we? Okay, dirty you dishes. Oh. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Hold on, Connor. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that. Son of a bitch. Oh. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? North of my... Let me have a look. North of my posi position... Oh, yeah, I see them. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? 
I see them. Okay, heading north. You betcha. Over and out. My bear spray? Where's the bear spray? Also, why does the game feel super zoomed in right now? Can I fix that? It feels super zoomed in. I don't know why. Bear spray. Oh, it's really zoomed in and I don't know why. This makes me feel so uneasy. Okay, utility shark. And then I think... Uh, when we were coming up, I remember the lacy trail being like off some like sort of this way. The lacy trail is off this way. And there is a bear sign. So we might just have to use a bit of bear spray. If a bear tries to mess with me. 8.37. Oh no, I should have brought a flashlight. Followed the trail that led me to the smoke. That was screaming. That was screaming. Whoa, I just got spanned with messages. Oh, that's a machete. Not very cool. Who's there? Show yourself. Show yourself, you coward. Guess I don't know. Guess I don't know who it was. Uh, I guess I don't know who was there. Hmm? Guess I don't know. Can I really not like, what am I supposed to do? Just turn back? I had to put it out. Oh. Oh, okay, um, uh, what could I use to put the fire out? Bucket of water. My hands are full. Oh, for God's sake. I had to get water. Oh, for God's sake. Fine, I'll go to the lake. Okay. All right, my, my, my business here is done. I feel like I probably, probably had to make sure the, the campers were gone, but it's fine. I'm going. Because I'm hearing footsteps. I'm going because I'm hearing footsteps. Oh. <sighs> 907. 907, as I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows, eh? Either way, I'm going back to my tower. Screw this. Screw this, buddy. I'm going back to my tower. Taking a note of the weather. Do I need to bring firewood with me? I don't know. I probably am going to need firewood, aren't I? But I had to report first. Tower 12, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? They never learn. Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Um, feel like we should probably mention the scream. Just in case. Ah, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing? They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Ooh. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me these entities. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Hmm. I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Glad to be of service. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Yep. Keep me updated. Over and, out. Over and out. Oh, that's terrifying. So scary. Okay, well, um, nothing we can really do about it now. So how about we... Um... Oh. My messages are not going through, unfortunately. Recipe. The pizza pasta bake. Okay. You need uncooked pasta, Mariana sauce. Uh, not Mariana sauce. Mari... 
marin uh, marinara sauce. Pepperoni. Mozzarella cheese and diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Do we have diced tomatoes? Uncut pasta. In the pan. Uh, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Mozzarella. That's not mozzarella. Mozzarella. And then finally, I need diced tomatoes. Okay, now we can pop it in. Get that sucker in, baby. Oh! There. This guy. Mm. Oh, good job! Thank you. Good night. Good night. And my food is done. I like eating in bed. Okay, let's eat in bed. Nom nom nom. It's very creepy though. Anyone, anybody could come up the stairs at any point during this. And they'll just... Oh, you were already full? Why'd you make a full pasta bake then, lad? Why'd you make a full one if you were good, if you were just gonna get full? I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Okay, then keep it in the refrigerator. Don't don't be telling me. I always close the Oh right, yeah, I probably should close the board, shouldn't I? Probably should do that, shouldn't I? Okie dokie then. Let's close these boards, shall we? To be honest, I like the idea of closing them as well, because it means nothing can creep on me. Alright. Board secured. Door secured. Let's go to sleep. If I wake up again in like three in the morning. Oh my god, I'm gonna wake up at three in the morning, huh? Well, it's half two actually. I was looking up by it. Some feeling that caused. Oh. Someone's out there. I don't want to, I don't want to be here. Do we reckon they've left? Do we reckon they've left? Should I just go back to sleep? I felt a present. Yeah, but I don't want to open the door. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Wait, where's the bear spray? Where's the bear spray? I can get- I can maybe get the bear spray. And I can spray them. Where's the bear spray? I think you should sleep, brother. It is late. I- I- I, I need to find the bear spray. Okay. I think they've left. I think they've left. I know what to make of that moment. Right, I'm not having a laugh. But whoever's stalking me, bugger off. I'm not having this. I'm not having. Oh, I thought I saw a shadow in the in in there. Then let's get the hell out of me. How do I throw it off? I had to talk to Gunnar. Oh yeah, I probably should report, shouldn't I? Can you copy? Do you copy? Hello? There's something outside my door. I don't think this is kids. This is serious, sir. I hate this. I hate this so much. So we're, ju we're just going to sleep. We're just going to sleep. 
after something was outside, we're just going to go to sleep. Okay, okay, that feels normal. Mm -hmm. Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Kind of tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in these woods. 8.34pm. Oh, dearie. Dearie, dearie me. I occupied both days. Um, either with a simple... Oh, or by scanning the density of the trees. What? Paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to the extra vigilant moving forward. Oh yeah, I probably should clean... Get these, get these lenses clean, shall we? Can't do much with dirty lenses, can we? What? That was a flare. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Are you loud and clear? I don't want to tell him exactly what fire tower we're at just yet, just in case. I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? I'm a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. What I equipment? A flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Small stream. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh, let me scan the map and I'll get to you. Okay. Trail map. So is that, is that a bit of an intersection with a right and left trail? He said he was at a small stream. Is that an intersection? Could he mean like it's somewhere here? Because if so, he can take a left. I mean, it'll take him further into the woods, maybe, but it'll also get him back to, like, the Golden Ridge Trail. I'm assuming he's around here. That's where I want to say he is. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail. Or you seem bad at your job. Could it be me? Head. I'm on Coffee Shop Tycoon grinding right now. <laughs> uh, take the left trail. Hope you real reach your trail safely. I'm right here. I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. You're freaking me out. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure who was there. What took you so long? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may low be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Okay, we'll take the supplies off him. A little bit worried about the hiker. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? I'm not. What were you there? Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out here, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would uh, love to get a piece of you. Oh, not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got myself to keep myself occupied. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, it's just a business job. A busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything okay? Uh, not exactly. Not exactly. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? 
I didn't think about it. You know, it's best don't that you don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Mm, the stone cold evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better go uh, get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. <laughs> Thank you for the supplies. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Supplies, yippee. But also not yippee. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Okay. So apparently I'm hungry, so I probably should cook something. <gasps> Wait, no. I can eat the rest of my the rest of my pasta bake. It's getting cold. Thought I'd get oh no, I have to go and get wood. Okay, bear repellent. You can never be too sure. But I'm not going to be able to carry the wood, am I? Because I'm bringing the bear repellent. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that at all. Oh, for God. <gasps> oh, my God. Stop jump scaring me. What is wrong with you? Who are you? You just gave me a heart attack. <sighs> Who are you? No need to be alarmed on my work hours. Just do oh god, I've still got chills from that jump scare. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Well, it wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice coming out of nowhere, was it? We must ensure that the right message reaches the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. Okay, what? Nature has its own plans. Okay. Lad, I'll see you around. Oh, scared there. Hell out of me. Like, seriously, who just sneaks up on somebody like that? You could just be like, Firewatch 11. I'm here to do maintenance. You know, rather than creeping around the corner and be like, Hi, how are you? Right, oh gosh. Okay, let's put them. No, that's not where the match is. Hold on, hold on. The matches need to go where they are, where I always put them. Copy now. This is Jack. Um, ran into Silas downstairs. The guy maintaining the radio tower. About yesterday. Huh? What? Who did I just speak to then? He knew my name. Okay, good night. Oh my gosh. Me no likey. Me no likey. Oh. oh. Who did I just speak to? <laughs> my unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd been so far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later? <gasps> Yo, 9.18 p.m. It's not a great sign, is it? You got a minute? I'm listening. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Okay. How do I update? To be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Okay. The console. Help. Check for available system updates. Shugabada. Updates found in total. Update. 
Please up. Please enter the update package code. Four three four six zero oh, eight four five four eight seven. Yeah, we got a green background now. Isn't that cute? Well, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. No, no, it's not. They got so no. I feel like I feel like the generator isn't the issue here. This is gonna be the worst because I just got jump scared and I'm gonna get jump scared again. Go 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 go! I really had to pee before. No, let's not go back up. Let's not have to pee even. Go 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 go! Go 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 go! Go! Oh, go go go! I did not like that. One week later. Oh my god, time's really passing. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I had to do was uh, check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time where he ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Oh, Connor's not real. <laughs> Turns out he's not real. Oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. Not that I want to be. Right here. Let me have a look. Ugh, it's so late. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Say don't run away this time. Take your photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. You woke me up. You woke me up. And you're telling me to look? Oh, for God's sake. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it myself. Jeez, man. Alright, let's have a quick look. Is that a ritual? Is that a ritual? Oh, I feel uneasy about this. But the best thing I can do is get a picture of them all. <gasps> Did they just see me take that picture? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, please, no.
gotta freaking go. I gotta go. <laughs> no, please. Why? Of course it was locked. Of course it's locked. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. No. Yo. Avi, 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 Avi. <laughs> An adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed it to alert HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. No, no, it was not, it was not crazy. Oh my God. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. <gasps> the unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a uh, haven for illegal activities. So if, you see, uh, if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was miserable. <laughs> I hate every minute of that. That was so scary.